Hello everyone, this is United Inside again. Don't forget to subscribe for more daily Manchester United updates news. How Man UTD and Chelsea can still qualify for Europe on Premier League's final day Manchester United and Chelsea remain in the final day hunt for European football, with both teams needing results to go their way if they're to jump up the Premier League table and claim spots in continental competition Chelsea and Manchester United are both looking to end inconsistent seasons by qualifying for Europe next season. But it's far from straightforward heading into the Premier League's final day. Neither side, who have both invested heavily, have had the season they would have wanted. Chelsea at one point were facing the prospect of another mid-table finish under their American owners, whilst United have set numerous unwanted records that sum up their problems, having fallen some way below the level of 2022 to 23 during Eric Ten Hag's debut season. This term, Ten Hag has presided over the most losses in a Premier League season for a United side, but they avoided another by beating Newcastle on Wednesday night, which keeps their hopes of finishing as high as 7th alive. Mathematically, they can finish 6th, but goal difference makes that unlikely. Their hopes are likely to be pinned on the FA Cup final in a week's time. They, for the second straight year, will face Manchester City at Wembley. They go in as huge underdogs, but a victory could be their best route into the Europa League and potentially keep Ten Hag in a job. Chelsea and Mauricio Pochettino will finish the season without a trophy, but things do slowly seem to be coming together at Stamford Bridge. Their expensively assembled young squad has begun to click into gear and the Blues have finished the season with some promise. They've collected the fourth most points of any side since Christmas. They beat Brighton on Wednesday night to ensure they're in pole position to finish sixth. Chelsea can yet finish as high as fifth, but they will need a favor from already relegated Sheffield United when they host Tottenham. Newcastle, too, remain in the hunt, and while losing at Old Trafford was a big blow, they're above United in the table on goal difference, which is far superior, and arguably have an easier game on the final day when they travel to Brentford. Plenty of movement could yet occur with several moving pieces set to be the difference between the Europa League and the Europa Conference League, ideally by beating City at Wembley in a week's time. That would allow them into the Europa League, which currently looks to be beyond them, unless they win, Chelsea lose, and there's a mammoth 16-goal swing in the goal difference, which simply isn't happening. So more likely they need to better Newcastle's result. The Magpies head to Brentford, whilst United will be on the road at Brighton. For the Red Devils, it'll either be 8th and no European football, prior to the outcome of the FA Cup Final, or 7th and the Europa Conference League. The Blues will be eyeing a 5th place finish, but most importantly looking to preserve their 6th spot and a route into the Europa League. They can be caught by Newcastle, who would need Chelsea to lose and them to win. Pochettino and co. will instead be seeking a favor from the Blades, albeit they've only won three games all year. If there is a shock win in Sheffield and Chelsea beat Bournemouth, then they will jump up to sixth. In the ever-churning world of football management, where tactics are dissected, strategies scrutinized, and egos clash like titans on the battlefield, there emerged a tale that sent shockwaves through the corridors of power at Manchester United. Rio Ferdinand, the former Red Devils stalwart turned pundit extraordinaire, had lifted the veil on a clandestine meeting that had taken place between none other than Thomas Tuchel, the enigmatic mastermind behind Chelsea's resurgence and the powers that be at Old Trafford. It was a revelation that set tongues wagging and hearts racing among United faithful. As Ferdinand shared tantalizing details of his conversation with Tuchel, hinting at a potential future role for the German tactician at the Theater of Dreams. The mere mention of Tuchel's name sent pulses racing, conjuring visions of silverware and glory in the minds of fans starved of success in recent years. But amidst the excitement and speculation, Ferdinand also made a bold prediction about United's next managerial appointment, a prophecy that would send shockwaves through the footballing world. 
With his insider knowledge and keen insight into the inner workings of the club, Ferdinand painted a picture of a future where a familiar face would return to the helm, steering United back to the summit of English and European football. As fans eagerly awaited the unfolding of events, the rumor mill went into overdrive, with pundits and journalists alike speculating about the identity of United's next manager and the direction the club would take in the coming seasons. Would it be Tuchel, the tactical genius who had breathed new life into Chelsea's fortunes? Or would United turn to a familiar face, a figure steeped in the club's rich history and traditions, to lead them into a new era of dominance? Only time would tell, as the drama and intrigue of the managerial merry-go-round played out against the backdrop of a season filled with twists, turns, and tantalizing possibilities. But one thing was certain. With Ferdinand's revelations sending shockwaves through the footballing world, the stage was set for a seismic shift in the balance of power at Manchester United, as the club embarked on a quest for redemption and glory under new leadership. Opening negotiations with Feyenoord boss Arne Slot about the possibility of replacing Jurgen Klopp. The Reds will say farewell to the German boss at the end of the season and have taken a huge step in finding Klopp's successor. Zabi Alonso, who was installed as the frontrunner, ruled himself out of the job by deciding that he would stay another season at Bayer Leverkusen. The likes of Ruben Amarim and Roberto De Zerbi have also been mooted as potential candidates. But the Athletic claim that Slot is the club's preferred option. They add that the Dutchman is enthusiastic about a potential move, though there are still other targets on Liverpool's list. If the Reds do choose to appoint Slot, comparisons will naturally be drawn following United's decision to poach Eric Ten Hag from the Eredivisie in 2022. The Red Devils boss joined from Ajax. However, European football expert Andy Brassell has shut down any comparisons. He told Sky Sports, I think if you look at Eric Ten Hag, his last six months at Ajax, something never really talked about, is Ajax had a ton of defensive problems. Even when Ten Hag was doing pretty well with Manchester United last year, in some of the defeats they really bottomed out, particularly defensively, so it suggests those issues are something he hasn't really worked on. Whereas Feyenoord have pretty much the best defensive record in the Eredivisie, and they have done so over the last two seasons. In terms of those issues, he's not really bringing anything with him. Slot previously snubbed a move to Tottenham Hotspur and signed it a three-year contract extension. The 45-year-old guided Feyenoord to their first title in six years last season, again.